Hi everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, I would like to talk about a real time scenario in the Citrix environment, which goes like this. So there is a Citrix administrator in the Citrix environment and this Citrix administrator needs to deploy 2000 virtual machines or virtual desktops. The hardware in the environment has a very fast solid state drive local storage and the SAN is running almost at capacity. Okay, so what it means is uh, this Citrix administrator need, need to deploy 2000 virtual desktops, but uh, you know, we are running out of storage in this particular Citrix environment. Okay, so in this uh, particular scenario, there is no need for user installed applications or persistence in the environment. So let's say if this uh, user is, if these users are trying to connect to these 2000 virtual desktops, you know, they need not install any applications on these machines. Okay, so it is not persistent. So in this particular scenario, what would be the best provisioning method that this uh, Citrix administrator should follow to save storage area network storage. Okay. So just think about it. The first option is uh, provisioning services. And the second one is manual provisioning. Third one is existing machines. And the fourth one is machine creation services. So just think about it for a few seconds. I'll give you 30 seconds time. So in 30 seconds time, I'll go, I'm going to reveal the answer. All right. I think 30 seconds is over. So if you have selected the first option, which is uh, provisioning services or PVS, you are absolutely right. Because in provisioning services, we can save a lot of storage. Okay. So basically in provisioning services, it's a network based technology. It is not storage based technology like machine creation services. So in machine creation services, you need to, uh, you know, uh, clone the machines. Okay. You need to, uh, take a snapshot or you need to have a template and using that template, if you want to create 10 machines and if, and if each machine is, uh, if each machine is taking hundred GB, okay. And if you need to create 10 machines, then you need to have one TB, one terabyte. Okay. This is machine creation services because each and every machine should should consume 100 GB storage. Okay, now when it comes to provisioning services, what happens is you can create a single image or a single uh, VDisk. We call it virtual disk. So using this VDisk or virtual disk, we can boot the machines in the network. Okay, these machines in the PVS environment, the VDM machines will boot up and it will connect to the uh, uh, DHCP first, gets the IP and connects to the provisioning services to uh, stream the VDisk. So uh, basically we are saving a lot of storage here because these uh, endpoint machines or the VDM machines or the virtual machines, we don't have uh, any hard disk here. Okay, they are just booting these machines over the network this could be thin client or any uh, virtual machines. They can boot over the network and they can stream the virtual disk from the network. Okay, and they can use it. So here we, we do not need much storage. It, it always relies on a network here. The net, network has to be good. Streaming has to be really good. Okay, so in this particular scenario, the answer is provisioning services because uh, with the help of provisioning services, we can save a lot of storage and the Citrix administrator can deploy 2000 virtual desktops very easily by saving a lot of storage. All right. Uh, I hope you find this information helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you.